all right welcome back all right in this video we'll be looking at what problems are and what problem solving is all about so when we say problem what do we mean so our aim or objective of this lesson of this video is to understand the concept of problem solving but before we talk about problem solving let's start from what is problem so the question is what is problem or why problem solving so why problem why problem as we said earlier in our video that nations of the world are faced with several problems and that as we all know is is all not only on leadership basically security wise nigeria is having a challenge so people can travel to the north again as before we have economic challenges and if we just just check the last time we checked the dollar is almost ringing for 700 plus wow something that was once it only dollars was once something like fifteen thousand, and today it's ringing about come on that almost about seventy thousand. it has moved from fifteen thousand to seventy thousand. wow that's amazing you could see we have economic problem and several problems so every almost every sector is having a challenge or the other educational system is also facing a big problem as to strike and not strike for the past six months wow that's a big challenge it's a big challenge so even in school within school within universities or schools who have problems like campus management who have also the security of student data how secure are student data from cyber crime so we also have a problem of embarrassed student communication. So there are several problems you can think about. So that also, so we could see that problems are difficulties or hindrances that we might endeavor. So anything that is difficult or hindrance, or that's what called problem. You know, I was trying to have a chat with a certain group of students and I was asking them, so in your own view, what do you see problems to be? You know, somebody said problems, is any somebody said problem as they call it from their own definition or what you can say say problems are tasks that are difficult to carry out wow i love that school of thought say tax that are difficult to carry out you know somebody else said problems is something that needs a solution wow i love that also something that needs a solution so anything that needs a solution is a problem in other words because of a problem is solution so the other person also said uh, problem is a mindset on a situation that we see or difficulty because we have seen a solution you know this particular definition about problem is problem is all about mindset you know that <laughs> put us into a long debate where several students try to make their contributions about what problems is and i can tell you i like also love that school of thought about problem being from our mind and i can tell you that it all originates from our mind it all originates from our mind because what one person sees as a problem another sees as a opportunity to make wealth let me give you for example there is no food maybe maybe you go to a locality and there is no good food in that locality one person will complain is oh there is no food in this town and no food in this area Somebody has to say, man, if I can open a restaurant right here, man, I'm made. Come on. What you see as a problem, somebody has seen as a business opportunity. So that school of thought that says problems is our mindset. Oh, I love that. I love that. And somebody that says problems is anything that needs a solution. So by providing the food, making the food available in that locality, you have provided a solution to that problem. So we could say, say problems are any difficulty, any barrier or hindrance. So anything that hinders anything from happening can be said to be a problem. And for example, um, a chef can complain about like because, because there is no power, so he failed to warm the food before giving it to you. So by like serving you cold food, the main problem is because there is no power. 
to warm the food for you. So that would be the reason, that would be the hindrance why you were served that cold food. And also, for example, a secretary who, who, who's meant to prepare a weekly report or sales report fails to do so because there was no data released to her. So when no data is made available, that's not how she will make a report on those stuff. So that are just instances of problem. So the term problem is seen in computing. We see it as tax to be done. Now we are bringing our domain of study, which is computing. So we see problems in computing as tax to be done or tax to be accomplished. For example, now we want to add two numbers. That's a problem. So addition of addition problem. We want to subtract two numbers. That's a problem. Subtraction problem. We want to convert degrees in centigrade to Fahrenheit. That's a problem. So any tax to be done in, is called problem. So that would call problem in computing so having said having established what problems are so let's look at what problem solving is now you will agree with me that computer health having said earlier are primarily designed to solve problems however they can solve these problems by themselves they need to be instructed on how to solve it and what to do so it is the duty of the programmer to provide this procedure on how the computer system will execute that problem. So, definition of problem solving, we say problem solving can be seen as a process of analyzing a problem with the intention of deriving a solution to that problem. Simply said, problem solving is a process of analyzing a problem with the goal of solving it you know i've seen people try to analyze their friends challenges they just talk about people's problem without any intention of helping out there was the need that's not problem solving that's gossiping you know that's not you know you could, any any situation you cannot solve there's no need talking about it so it's important that you, that the the only essence why you want to make inquiry about what people are passing through or what is facing that it, the, the, you, you don't need to hear about them and lament. You should hear to prefer solution. The reason why people to share their problem to you is for you to prefer solution to them, not to go gossip around about their problems. So please, problem solving is not gossiping. Problem solving is not making inquiries about people's situation to mock them. Problem solving is analyzing a problem with an intention to solve it. So if you are not solving it, that's not problem solving, that's gossip. So that's what problem solving is. So for today, we're looking at say, so in the truth is that solving a complicated problem can be frustrating. Sometimes to solve problems, they can be frustrating. According to Raudu, they can be frustrating, but you can have a good problem solving skills. But yes, sometimes it's just as if there is no solution. But the key to solving problem is never to give up. So as long as you don't give up to problem solving skills, I can tell you your solutions are about to happen. Just like a man that built electric bulb, he tried several times. He tried several times, well, nine or like nine times. He failed. So he keep trying. So the truth that, the truth that we learn in trying, we learn from our experiences. So on the a thousand time time, light came up. So as long as you don't give up, you are bound to derive a solution to your problem. So in trying to solve problems solving, you need several skills, which include active listening. You must learn how to listen to understand, not listening to paint to get to counter what somebody is saying. You listen to understand. You also have to have a critical analysis skill to analyze the situation. You're going to have to learn how to carry out research ask questions about a particular scenario before concluding that you must have creativity skills then have to do good communication among your team then have to make good decision also among your team all these skills are needed if you want to be a good problem solver so the also also and there are several reasons so why we think that it's important for us to learn how to solve our problems so that we're able to fix problems that we see in our environment. So you must learn how to identify what your problem is so you are able to help to solve those problems. So having said that, so the key part we have said today that the key point you should note before you go is that 
computers are primarily designed to solve problems. And we said problems are what the tasks are expected to be done. I've also said that computers has to be instructed on what and how to solve problem. And we said problem solving is the process of analyzing a problem with the intention of driving a solution to it. And what you must know that good problem solvers are basically thinkers. If you don't think, they can't be a good problem solver. So good problem solvers always look out for problems as challenges and life experiences and not just complain. So that's the essence of that's the one important attribute of good problem solvers. So in conclusion, problem solving are problems as tax that are expected to be done while problem solving is because of analyzing a problem with the intention of solving it. In our subsequent video, we'll be looking at stages, steps we can use to solve our problem. So by so doing, we will now venture them into details that we can join in into this course. Thank you. See you in our subsequent video.